What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about Oracle Fusion budgetary control. How to set it up, how to take a quick look at how it works, etc. So let's get going. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to create the GL foundation. We're going to create the budget calendars. We're going to configure the budget options, create the control budgets, assign data access to the user. We're going to download the spreadsheets. We're going to detail out the budgets in the spreadsheets, and then we're going to do some updates. So let's get after it. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is create a GL foundation. We're going to use the rapid implementation to do that. So I have this spreadsheet. It will be included in the article that's related to this video. And the link to that will be in the description below. So you can download that file and see for yourself what's in there. But basically, I've exported, um, generated the chart of accounts, generated the ledger. So let's go over and import the chart of accounts that comes in relatively quickly and we'll go over and find the file chart of accounts and we will load that up Just put a little watch there to see when it gets finished now everything here gets sped up for the sake of making sure this video doesn't get monotonous this part of the video is just to give us the foundation Okay, so we're gonna check. There's the uh, chart of accounts, the structures, et cetera. Now let's go load up the organizational foundations. And that's the legal entity, the ledger, the business unit, the calendars, et cetera. So we'll go ahead and choose the file, load it up. And this takes about 20, 30 minutes. So this is massively sped up. And we're just going to get to the end, make sure that it's there. We're going to go validate for the sake of it that we have the legal entity. We'll go search it up. I think I named it Zooper. There it is. Okay, so we have a legal entity. Now we'll just go quickly over to the ledger. And I'm just going to confirm it's there. I'm going to update the options to change the interfund to all zeros. And I'm going to save and close that basic stuff. And last but not least, we'll take the look at the business unit and you'll see it's there and it's activated for all of those business unit functions. So that's all set up and ready to go. Okay. So next up, we got to create some calendars. We need two calendars for two different budgets. One's going to be an annual calendar and the other one's going to be a quarterly calendar. And we're going to use the budgetary control only checkbox because these will only be used for budgetary control. And we can customize the periods for each. So I'm going to create the annual one and the annual one will be for each year and it will be connected to the budget that is absolute because annual budgets are absolute. The quarterly one will be a budget that is uh, warning only advisory so that they can determine whether or not they want to spend it. But on the annual basis, we want it to be absolute. So here we're going to create the, the warning calendar or the calendar for the warning budget. We are going to set it also to budgetary control only. And then we are going to customize the periods and there will be four of them as you can see. And I will detail them out as you can see. And once they are all detailed out, I'll copy down quarter, 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 and put in the dates for the each quarter. Now granted, you can use accounting calendars, but um, it is basically recommended best practices to use these budgetary control only because they're more customizable with respect to period times. At least that's what Oracle says. And so I will add another year and I will detail that out. And once we have the two years detailed out, we'll have two calendars that are ready to be used for the two separate budgets, the advisory budget and the absolute budget, absolute budget for the year and advisory budget quarterly. We could do this, of course, monthly, 
but we're not really trying to overextend the setups here for the sake of understanding how the process works. With these two, we're in pretty good shape because monthly would probably be advisory, i.e. warning only as well. And so we'll have those two set up. And so we'll go ahead and save and close that. And we are done. Okay, so next up, we're going to configure budgetary control. This is the foundation for the ledger. You can see the enterprise options up there. That's for all ledgers. All right, let's open that up. We're going to configure, check off budgetary control. We're going to make it ledger on project. And you can see the chart of accounts down below. I'm going to make this default to zeros if it's not included. I'm going to enable it for the, the business unit. And upstairs, you can see up here at the right hand corner, if you wanted to enable encumbrance, you would just enable it there. But this video is not about encumbrance accounting. It's strictly about the budgetary control. So we've got that configured. We can move on. Now it's time to configure the control budgets. We're going to configure the two control budgets, the absolute and the warning. We'll configure the absolute first. We'll give it a description. We'll choose the proper calendar. And we'll set that to other, the currency to dollars, corporate, that matters. Notice the control level is set to absolute. I'm going to add the budget manager, Bob Adams. And I'm also going to now detail out the segments. And we're going to put all segments in there. Right. And last but not least, all good. So then now we have that set. We're going to leave all the defaults there. And we are going to go upstairs to action after we save it. And we're going to put, put the budget in use. All right. Now let's create the second budget. And that's the warning one or advisory description. Choose the proper calendar. That's the one down here for warning and quarter one to quarter four. Again, other, and this time notice we're checking advisory, same budget manager, same segments. And once we have all the segments in there, we're ready to go upstairs. And again, we will save it and then put it into use with action, prepare for use. And it's all set. We have our two budgets. Now we need to assign the data access for these two control budgets for Bob Adams. We're going to assign it to two different roles and for two different budgets. So we'll have four lines here. Use the budget preparer and the budget manager for the sake of being complete. And now we have all of the data access set for the two budgets. We can save and close that and move on. Now we're going to go over to budgetary control as a user. We're going to take a quick look at manage control budgets to see our budgets. There they are. All right. All good. Now we're going to go over and get the budget spreadsheets. Okay. We're going to get one for the annual and we're going to get one for the quarterly. So I got one and now let's go get the, the quarterly and download that. Now it's time to actually detail out the budget. So I'm going to detail out the annual first, and then we're going to use references from the annual in the quarterly so that if you update the annual, the quarterly will automatically update. So the quarterly will be formula based. And the annual, as you can see here, will be actual. In other words, real figures. I'm going to add an account, add a few lines. Just want like three budget lines here, three different expenses. This chart of accounts has like three or four expenses tops anyway. So let's detail it out, let's copy it over, and then we'll just basically change the account values here. So we're just going to make that 62 or 
62-101, and I think 63-101. There we go. All right. Let's put in some amounts. And 200, 300, and 400. And let's save that. Come over to the budgets. It says changed, ready to upload, and we will upload it. All right, now we have an annual budget. Let's go over to the quarterly, and we're going to, again, we're going to detail this out. Let's put in three lines. You can see that's the quarterly one. Let's add three lines. Okay, good. And now we will copy over from the other file, the three strings. And here we're going to reach out to the annual, grab the annual, divide by four, and then move that over. Obviously my copying didn't work out the way I wanted it to because it's absolute. And we will copy that over. And now we have quarterly, we'll save that. And we'll also submit that, okay? So we have the budgets submitted and ready for checking. Now we'll go over and we will check the budget balances. All right, so let's choose our annual budget, put in the periods. We want all of the segments and look there. We have an annual budget just like that, okay? One's available, 100%, et cetera. Now let's try the warning. Same thing, let's detail out the um, periods. So it gets its act together. And again, all segments. And we'll do search and look. Quarter by quarter, it's uploaded. And then remember, this is the warning budget. So you get a warning if you go over these limits, okay? Now let's go over and revise the annual budget and we'll watch it cascade into the quarterly through the spreadsheet. Okay, we're gonna change that. We're gonna upload it. We're gonna go check it. Put in the annual. And then we are going to see that that has updated. Okay, so now let's go back to the spreadsheet. Put those as changed, submit. And now you'll notice that these have updated because it's based on formula, you see? All right, now that that's set, we can go over and we're going to open up the annual again. And this time we're gonna do a budget transfer, but inside the actual application. So I'm gonna choose a line. I'm gonna choose from this account. And then I'm gonna choose to this account. And then I'm going to put in say 50,000 and 50,000 and submit. And this will run a process in the background. It'll notify you when it's done that the budget has moved. Now, the problem with this method is it won't update the quarterly. So the warning won't show, the warning budget won't show the reflection. So instead of that, you just always wanna be, in this particular scenario that I'm giving here, this isn't uh, steadfast and, you know, set in stone, but this is just an example that best to work out of spreadsheets here to keep everything in sync. And so now that I've changed that, you can upload and they're all back in sync again. So yeah, that's probably a better way to look at updating and keeping things in sync instead of trying to do budget moves inside of the app, but to each his own. So again, now comparing the uh, quarterly Back with the spreadsheet, they are now aligned. And now with that said, you have a pretty good idea of how to get control budgets going. So that's gonna do it for this one, folks. If you found the information useful, why not consider using the subscribe button like a bookmark so you can have easy access to the information without having to search for it when you need it. I really hope you enjoyed your visit today and I will catch you in the next one.